Hi. Um, we've now got the Android capability um, for the RSP and I just wanted to have a quick demo of uh, just how portable and versatile this means. So effectively all you need is an Android device, reasonably up to date. This is a, a Fusion 5 uh, tablet that's available for um, around about £90 here in the UK. But this could equally be your um, Samsung Ga Galaxy Android phone um, piece of kit you may have already. So what we're going to show is the portability and versatility of using a, an Android device like this together with the RSP and um, to cover the maximum bandwidth um, I'm actually going to put a temporary wire up into a tree, uh, sort of thing you could quite easily do with uh, just a stone or a brick like this and a, a length of wire. So let's, uh, let's have a go. So I've slung my brick on the end of the red wire there up into this uh, silver birch tree, not very high, the whole thing's only uh, probably four or five metres, no maybe six metres up into the, up into the tree, just as a, an end fed long wire. So on the uh, RSP, I've put a, a connector to the, the SMA, which takes it up to a nice chunky SO259 um, for uh, poking the end, end fed wire into. And then I've just brought along, um, I've actually got one of these toroid chokes, which are very useful when you're indoors and got a noisy environment. It doesn't really matter out here, but I just had that to hand. So here's my... USB cable which is the B type that uh, comes out of the RSP and then goes to um, the adapter that came with my tablet. Most Android phones and tablets come with this or you can buy them for three or four dollars um, which is the little on-the-go OTG adapter that then fits into the micro USB socket on the Android device. So, the brick is up the tree, the red wire you can see coming down is a bit of a sloper at a sort of 45 degree angle and I've got here my RSP with its uh, SO259 socket and I found a convenient bit of wire netting here which I'm going to use actually as a bit of a ground plane, a bit of a counterpoise and just make sure that makes good electrical contact. Um, I don't know how long this f fence runs for, but probably a few metres. Um, whether how electrically uh, connected it is is another matter, but I found in the past this sort of thing works really well. We're then going to take the um, stripped back wire, um, the sloping antenna that goes up the tree with a brick, and just pop that in. So this is a real makeshift. Um, uh, antenna just to uh, uh, see what we can pick up. So that's the setup. The temporary red wire is the uh, end fed wire coming from up the tree. We've got the uh, USB connection coming to the OTG cable and here's the, uh, the uh, Android device. So obviously you need to download the SDR Touch software from the Google Play Store if you just do a search for SDR Touch. You'll see there's, uh, at the moment, this may change over time, but there's the S SDR Touch key and the actual SDR Touch software. So first download this SDR Touch software, which is basically free and ready to open. And then you'll also need the SDR Touch key which um, at the moment is about $10. Um, I've already downloaded it, so it's uh, already installed on this, um, on this tablet. At the time of this video, the um, driver for the SDR Play was available as a beta download. So that's an extra step that eventually will go away. Uh, basically, just follow the instructions to uh, download the SDR Play uh, beta driver. Um, if if it's um, if you're trying to do this before the full uh, production release, there's a quick uh, close-up of the um, 
the icons for the SDR Touch um, and in this case the separate SDR Play driver just to show it's uh, installed. So we're ready to uh, to launch the application. So apologies for the quality of the video. Obviously it's outdoors and the um, tablets tend to sort of work a bit like mirrors. Um, anyway, I've uh, made some makeshift um, shading here to uh, help us see what's going on. So here's um, SDR Touch uh, for the Android uh, launched here. And you'll notice over on the right hand side there's a bunch of uh, buttons to touch. And um, I've just started off on uh, 7 megs to uh, see what we can pick up. So first of all you hit the, um, the on button, top right. And um, it's just asking me to confirm the display driver. Uh, like I say, this is a beta version, so it asks for twice. But the key thing is you, uh, whoops, you quickly <laughs> get to the point where you can see the uh, spectrum and, uh, and start to tune. Um, I've already set it to lower sideband and um, obviously this is a 40 meter band here, 7 to 7.2 and you can see the uh, signal so we're going to have a little tune around there. So that's uh, 40 meters, and you can see over to the right up uh, above 7.3 megs, the great big broadcast stations. Um, I think a lot of people prefer to have a little Bluetooth mouse or something than uh, trying to do it with your finger. I'm not very good at this. But as you can see, obviously down here, there's all the CW signals. Um, it's down at the CW end of the band. Is so having a quick look across the spectrum, the here we are down in long wave, 198 kilohertz. Which in the UK has uh, Radio 4 as a broadcast channel. Things have gone wrong. So here we are in the medium wave band, um, 700 up to 1 megahertz, that portion of it. And I can just um, look at the spectrum. Biggest ever seizure of money and suspected of being linked to crime. Our home affairs correspondent Danny Shaw is here. Danny, tell us about this investigative radio giving you some pure class there. The brilliant Bruce Hornsby and the rain song. That's the way it is in the lunchtime, which means 40 minutes and started last month. So, uh, quite, a, quite a variety of programs there. Uh, ...convicted of being used for money laundering, and that, that account was linked to a business that was listed as being... The wonders of talk radio. You get a very visual view over this one megahertz bandwidth with SDR Touch. This is the short one of the shortwave broadcast bands, and you can actually see all the different stations. That's uh, 21 megahertz. So going up, up this is uh, 88 to 108 uh, broadcast FM band. Okay, this is the aircraft band, 125 megs here. And of course, uh, they don't hang around for long, so you... But again, you can... 
Whoops. But it's great for um, spotting. <laughs> Sometimes the game needs adjusting on this beta version. Um, so again, we're just using that wire that's slung up into the tree, which is great for everything from long wave up to uh, UHF here. So here we are up at 430 megs or more, um, and uh, the ISM band there, and of course if we uh, Press the car key, uh, you can see the uh, spectrum appearing. And that's another car here. Seems to be some weird spurry eye. But anyway, this is a great tool for um, looking at a, a one, 1 megahertz of spectrum. Obviously, the SDR Play RSP can do 8 megs on. Um, uh, more powerful hosts, but uh, just using um, SDR Touch, you can use, uh, you can get a, a one megahertz um, window. So it's fun what you can pick up with an RSP and uh, your Android tablet or Android phone, and maybe uh, the odd brick just to help you uh, get the wire up into that tree.